Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we're gonna do a showcase today on Shattered Bones. Uh, so I didn't post a video yesterday because I was out of town. I went to like a mini vacation for one day just to relax a little bit, come back and do more content. We're getting Hydra patch 5.0 has been announced by Raid. We don't know exactly when that's gonna drop, but when it does, we're gonna have our hands full definitely with Hydra. But today, we're doing a small showcase on Shattered Bones, a neglected epic that I definitely used back when I did the, um, what was it called? The uh, Affinity Cup. So what the Affinity Cup was, I had to choose a specific affinity and then start an account using only champions like that. I was going against Murder Inc, who also had only Force champions, and the goal was to get um you know furthest in the game like beat the, the highest difficulty in dungeons beat the highest difficulty on the clan boss and stuff like that other uh, other content creators had other affinities like spirit magic void and you know it was two team uh, two teams going against each other from four content creators each team so shadow bones was one of those champions and i remember him being so good very unique kit is what he has look at this a2 guys if you've never seen shadow bones before Attacks all enemies three times. 50% chance of decrease the turn by 30%. That's insane. It goes up to 75%. That's insane skill to have. And I want to test out how bad this guy can hit. Because not only this guy can hit uh, for a ridiculously high amount. Considering it's three hits on enemies. It's also the turn to reduction there. So built in with a mix of both accuracy and damage gear. Just for this A2, his A1 hits quite hard. I've seen 95,000 crits just through his A1 with a defense down, which you'll always have a defense down on enemies. And then his A3 is an added way for you guys to see the increased speed um, on enemies and then a fill on Terminator for your allies by 25%, which is insane. Like considering what he can do already with his A2, his A3 adds up to that as well. It's just a fantastic champion. I think that's very neglected compared to other champions out there, especially for the Ogren tribe, which is a um, which is a faction that relatively suffers compared to all the other factions. So let's go see him in action in the arena. I want to show you guys the teams that are built with him. So uh, he's obviously going to be going against high, high uh, damaging champions. So we've got the Rotos here, the Trandas, but it's fine since we're going to go in there with some way to control them obviously we can go with the hedging on there but i also have my warlord there to lock them out if i wasn't using warlord i would have used probably something like a lissandra there to speed boost everybody up and in that way not let the enemy team get a turn this works the same way but also locks out their skills uh, especially against that holy because he can also uh, block revive so that's going to be very annoying the, the seeker right there on defense is going to be also annoying because what Seeker does is if he gets a crit going, uh, if we get a crit going on a Seeker, then he is going to apply that increased defense on his team, which definitely sucks if you're trying to get a nuker in there. So let's see, uh, increase the cooldowns on everybody. Let's put it on a 1x so we can see those numbers. Remember, it's going to be a triple hitting A2 and I want to see my boy Shatterbones in action, guys. Let's see a big number coming out of here. Three hits coming in. Uh, let's see one two three boom everybody down you saw 40,000 30,000 and 20,000 the reason for that guys was because seeker after the first hit that he got crit on him he increased the defense of everybody and that's why they um the following hits were not there let's see this double rotos trend the team obviously this doesn't really make sense to have Three nukers. I mean, replacing one of the Rotos with the defense down, any defense down champion would have been better for this guy. But let's go and see this in action. Uh, we'll go first here. We're gonna try and lock them out. But remember, guys, Rotos, what he does is he cannot get one shot hit. You cannot one shot a Rotos. But if you got uh, if you got Shadow Bones, you can triple shot him. All right. Let's see. Boom, boom. Wow. <laughs> Just it's. It's it's surprising on how good this guy is and the gear that I have on him will go back and see the gear uh, Right after this fight because I totally forgot to show it with the excitement that I wanted to go in there uh, Look at that See if he almost died there and remember I don't have my best gear on him almost died there But see if he, ah, we could have had her let's go very quickly and 
and get more uh, arena tokens because we're going to do some more fights. And let's see the gear that I've put on Shatterbones just very quickly. It's nothing that um, it's impossible to get, but it's also pretty solid gear because uh, it's double cruel set. It's not a savage set, so obviously I'm missing a ton of potential there. So 100% crit rate. 250 critical damage, 190 speed, 6,000 attack, and 200 accuracy. The accuracy is there for that territory reduction. Obviously, I could have done with more damage if I didn't go for some accuracy. But the 200 number is very specific. It's because I want to get at least that territory reduction on champions. Like, Arbiters usually don't have high resists. The damage dealers usually don't have high resists. So, that 200 is going to be enough for me to at least apply the territory reduction. Obviously, if you're fighting teams with a resistance lead in there, or like this team as a big example right here, it does have a Brogni, it does have a Duchess, the probability that this high, this guys have over 300 resistance is very high. The only one that probably doesn't have that high resist is trying to look at that power, 400,000 power. Very likely that uh, it's going to be like a high resist team with Trunda in there to do some killing. But let's see this team in action against this uh, more tanky team as well and then i think we're gonna do like a damage test on uh, shatter bones just to see what kind of things he can do in the dungeons because of that triple hit because remember in dungeons 25 look at that dungeons 25 there's two shatter bones that totally wrecked my team in um in actually dragon 25 and that wave two if you don't manage to kill that the shatter bones will so let's go against this team this will be very very tough to build to beat because I'll need to remove the shields for sure and also apply the increase in cooldowns. Look at all those shields and let's see if my theory was correct that they have very high resist. We'll see right now if we get any resist from Warlord. Um, no, we didn't get any resist from Warlord because he's also high, uh, high accuracy. So that's good. Removed all of the buffs there. That's great. Can we get a turn with my Shadow Bones here? Yes, we can. And Brogni is ready to go. So let's see if we can actually reduce his Terminator too. If we cannot kill him. We did get resisted there. But look at all that damage dealt there. Remember, Krisk is also there. If there's a Guardian set there, which I didn't try to see. Then it definitely protected uh, all of them. But very tanky here. Let's see if we can get that down Duchess. If we can get Duchess down, then I think we're fine. Uh, by the way, that second hit and third hit was... We also had that decreased attack, I've just realized. And that's why probably we couldn't kill them. Because of that Krisk. That Krisk definitely messed our uh, our plans there. Get the kill going. And then on on his next turn, he's also going to have the boost available. If I don't want to go there for the, for the A1, I can also do the boost and get everybody going with more turns. But let's try and see the A1 there on Brogni. Strong affinity, 61,000 on a Brogni there, which is insane. Considering Shadow Bones is more considered like a support kind of champion instead of anything else. So, wow. Uh, looking good. Let's see this double. Ooh, 400,000 power again. High resist through that CP. So, it's going to be tough. Double Mountain King kind of team here. We're obviously going to go first because this team is obviously like a defensive team instead of anything else. So... If these guys have anything north of 400 resistance on them, we're going to be in trouble, guys. Uh, increase in cooldown. Okay, let's see. We got the defense down. So let's see if we can shatter their bones a little bit. <laughs> as long as we can get the CP down, as long as we can get the um, the other revival down. Uh, what's her name? Um, Rector Draft. Then we're, ju <laughs> we're just going to destroy them. Look at that. The other Mountain King is down. The one Mountain King cannot solo us. He can probably solo my poor uh, Shadow Bones. But um, we'll definitely take him out. Alright, let's uh, do it like a small speed boost there. Let's take out that Mountain King and go in for that next fight. As long as Mountain King doesn't choose my poor, uh, poor Arbiter, I would be fine. There we go. There we go. There's a win against that 400,000 power. Right, let's go against this Lydia Trunda. And Molly team. So Molly is notorious for do not get, do not hit on her because she's gonna give Terminator to everybody. But I will hit on her because I will also increase the cooldowns of the enemy team. Look at that, beautiful. We're gonna decrease the. Uh, 
Ah, decrease attack, decrease defense. Chanda went there for my Warlock, which is great because he could have definitely died there. Uh, we've got a fear on us, which is very scary. But I will still try and do my A2 with uh, Shadow Bones. Even though we've got a fear on us. There's the there's the Shadow Bones. Because of that Swift Parry, he, he got saved. But I'm going to try and take out that... Take out that Arbiter. There's the fear that I wanted to see. Let's take out Lydia here. And Molly. I didn't go for the revive because, yeah, she got increased cooldowns. And let's just do this. And boom, 51,000. There's the win. And Shadow Bones is just wrecking left and right, okay? Uh, obviously, we cannot go against the Hegemon team because he's very squishy, as you've seen. So we would go against... You know the normal teams that you're gonna find he is a damage dealer in the build that we have him but obviously any champion with 6,000 attack to 50 critical damage and cruel sets will be there i'm just showcasing that he can actually do some damage and have a fun video going so increase the cooldowns of everybody let's remove the buffs there it is go shadow bones oh we almost had them there i i think the um that Chris combo with the decrease attack definitely uh, kind of wrecks my um, my possibility of, of getting them down. But let's see. Let's see if we can take out Rotos here. I don't think it's going to be easy to take him out. Uh, block the best buff. Almost took him out there. Going to do a double boost here. That's great. That's what I wanted to see. Let's see if he's going to protect Rotos there. There's a sleep. Can I take him out? There it is. That's what I wanted to see. So now I'm gonna try to take out Sifi. If I can. If I can get an A1 going on Sifi, I can probably take her out. There it is. Dutch is going and being annoying. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Try to fear here. Nope. Um, don't have any accuracy on my RB. I can't do an A2 there. There's. There's the man down. Shadow Bones is down, but um, I will try to. Um, I guess I'll try to fear here. Uh, no, fear didn't work. I really wanna, I really wanna revive my Shadow Bones here. If we have a lockdown, then we are fine. All right, we're just fine here. It's all about reviving Shadow Bones next. Uh, increase attack. Going there with Madame. There it is. And then once Shadow Bones manages to get a turn, we've got the block debuff buff on us. So we wouldn't get the Dix attack. It should be able to get them out of there. Take them out. So, okay. That's nasty. Two more turns. Pretty high cooldown. Look at that A1. 55k. Let's remove this again. Duchess must not take a turn, but it's pretty impossible to have her not take a turn. There's the increased attack again. Boom. Come on, Shadow Bones. A1, 62k. There it is. There's the win. Uh, let's go over in the dungeons, guys, and have a look at what he can do. Let's go to Dragon's Lair. Uh, Dragon's 20 is magic. So we'll be having like a very solid damage potential there. Right, let's go in there and have a look at Shadow Bones' potential in damage. Uh, you know that the classic damage boosting team here uh, Defense down weekend we get some poisons going and then we get some more poisons going on ourselves And then we nuke with shadow bones and see him in action. I want to see this whole wave going down I want to see the numbers there. It's a 1x speed. Let's see there 52 52 and 62 something he did on some of them. So overall he did about as one 180 I want to say on everybody in a triple hitting kind of fashion here We didn't have a defense down. That's why this guy didn't die, but um, overall Surprising nuker out of a shatter bones. I'm definitely happy with the build I've done on him Obviously, I won't be running this team Anywhere because this is just uh, just for show just make a fun video out of a champion that nobody expects uh, That he can hit their shatter bones guys Obviously, you can build him more in a support role. Much easier to build him in a support role than a new king role because he is quite squishy uh, with the gear that he has. Like 30,000 health goes down in seconds. 
so uh, you can definitely go in a more support route more speed in there accuracy so he lands that turn into reduction gets a speed boost on everyone a decreased speed on everybody else from the enemy team very solid champion definitely neglected so this was the video guys if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing if you haven't already thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow with more news about raid patch 5.0 thank you and see ya